Okay, hey guys, this is going to be the first video that I'm actually recording on stream, so... So, we've got a pretty good kit on our fighter right now. This all started from the Zero to Hero video that we did. In fact, we're still using the first item we actually looted, which was this Heater Shield. Got pretty lucky there, like, this has got to be almost best in slot for a blue. But yeah, really crazy. Our gear's just only got better and better from then. Uh, we're currently sitting at Wanderer 1, actually. I thought it was Wanderer 2, so hopefully we can hit Pathfinder today. Uh, I've liquidized all the gear that we got on our previous run or previous runs i say all there's still tons down here if you see we've still got tons of rings and things but a lot of it has been liquidized and currently we're sitting at 24 gold ingots this is actually after we completed the quest for the armor of the um the mining for peace and mind uh 15 cobalt 10 ruby silver i just bought it all uh, we had so much gold that i figured we'll just do that now on the next quest confronting the lich we got to kill the Lich 15 times. I thought it would be once. I was like, once is doable. But no, 15 times? All right, I'm not sure about that. We'll see. Aside from that, a lot of the quests were still on like the early game quests. But anyway, that's enough for that. Let's head into Hyrolo. I believe our kit is fully... Have you tried Shield Slam Fighter? No, I haven't quite tried Shield Slam yet. I want to. That, uh, when we lose this kit, I'll probably start experimenting with some of the interesting things. I wish there was a way to scale the Shield Slam damage. Like uh, with the armor on your shield or something like that, or your total armor. Might be a bit broken at that point, but... I suppose you can probably scale it with, like, physical power, but... Yeah, I mean, you can just scale every physical damage with physical power, huh? I don't know the mage starts over there. Alright. Alright, fighter brain on. Hopefully, anyway. We're focusing AP today. We're going to be focusing whatever treasures we can. They said when Druid is coming out? Uh, no, they haven't. They, If you haven't seen the Q&A that they did recently, that was really, really interesting. And they, the future for this game is looking really good. Um, they said that... They're going to... Well, the plan was to finish the Warlock, which I think they've nearly done. There's like a few more things I think they want to do. Oh my, an Enchanted Dark Power Brick, probably. And then they'll be working on the Druid, but I think they said they're actually looking at maybe releasing the... Oh, let's have a quick look. Oh, you hear that? I think I heard someone to the southeast. Uh, I think they said that they might do it the other way around, actually, and like... Perhaps bring the druid out before they do the warlock. Because apparently they're looking at making a demon form for the warlock, which sounds super nice. Yeah, 20% done of their of what they envision as version 1.0 of the game. Like there's so much more to come. Maps, features, classes, everything. Well, I suppose not a lot of classes, but a lot more variation in the classes, especially. Potentially end of January? Oh, that is a nice find, Curious, actually. Let's grab that. I'm not throwing access for us as well. Okay, so I'm actually curious. Let's check our PDR with this. 66.7. Yeah, very solid. Okay. There's definitely someone close. Probably through, like, the other side of the place we spawned. Though we might have to clear the mobs. Depending on where they've actually gone. Now, it's probably not wise to try and PvP, but I at least want to see what class they are, ideally. Oh, this guy just bloody get down Mr. President and thought there was a mage. We might have to... Let's not get hit by that. That's really going to hurt through our PDR kit. We do have a little bit of magic resistance because we have Dark Plate rather than the Fine Curus, but either way, it's still going to sting a lot more than most things. And I also, after doing a lot of trading... Okay, 
to care. Me and this guy are both not very good gamers right now. The mommy's on him, which is actually really good for us. Yeah, he actually made the jump there. Nice. We actually got this guy. Not bad. Um. Oh, that's actually a really good crossbow. Let's drop the fighting chorus. Uh, no, I want the broken skull. Oh, whatever, fine. Probably find another one at some other point. That guy, I kind of misplayed that fight at the beginning, but then that guy kind of misplayed it a bit more than me, so it worked out okay in the end. Let's drop some of these kind of subpar treasures. Put the golden to the pouch. Yeah, you're right. I'll quickly make sure we camp and then I'll sort out the inventory. We have a few, like, white treasures and stuff which we can easily drop. Is this crossbow actually better? Yeah, significantly better. More physical power, much more damage, plus the magical interaction speed. Don't really care about that, but... Alright, so let's drop the white treasures that we have. Hold into the pouch. Let's go back for one more quick look at this guy's loot, see if he's got anything else that we're going to want. We have plenty of meds, so we don't have to worry too much about taking a bit of zone damage. Let's try not get too far behind on, like, uh, the actual zone, though. Don't want to have to be chasing it all game. We'll take this guy's campfire as well. Uh, Alright, perfect. I like I'm hearing gas clouds. What is that? Why is that so loud? Jesus. This mommy there really helped us space that guy. So make sure the crossbow is loaded. Yep, it is good. You only had to hit the mummy once. Right, well, our inventory is already pretty full. I think this crossbow will sell for pretty good money, so I don't really want to drop it unless... But again, we should be focusing AP, so... Kind of a tough call. Let's grab this campfire as well. Still need those for quests. This skelly is still alive. We haven't actually killed that one yet. Well, Franciscas are always nice. I think we'll drop the green and take the two white. Now, do we go to hell? That's the real question. Going to hell, kind of risky, but could pay off pretty heavily. Oh, uh, this room is pretty rough. I actually don't want to go through that room. Because there can be a wraith in there and then it's pretty annoying to deal with as, as a slow-ass PDR fighter. You cannot really tank them very long. Even as you're even as a PDR fighter in pretty solid gear, they still do like crazy damage. I'm not sure if they have like armor pen or some kind of magic damage that they do, but they really still hurt. Uh, let's grab the PDR shrine. Actually, it does give you AP as well, taking shrines. And also uh, portals, as I found out last stream. Definitely gonna have to be opening, like, every portal that we come across, really. Well, definitely should be, at least. Oh, nice blue treasure. Another one? Green. We'll take green. Alright. 
And there might have been a few gold coins there for the pouch, but I don't really care, honestly. Could take that comp for her for the quest as well. But right now, we're just going to be prioritizing... Yeah, this might be a bit awkward. God, so awkward fighting against those. Let's pop some meds, make sure we're topped up. Oh, nice. Uh, we'll pop these two bandages. This will give us one more inventory slot. And we can pick up this purple treasure. Don't want to open this just yet in case we end up chasing someone into this room. See if there's anything else of high tier for us. Let's grab the speed shrine as well. But 10 extra speed actually goes quite far on the PDR fighter. So bloody slow without it. Although we're not full plate. Not seeing many other treasures. Should be destroying these pots as well. Definitely heard someone over to the west. Yeah, we're going to take that portal. That was a blue portal, right? Yeah, blue portal. Okay. Someone's fighting mobs down to the south. Can hear skeletons dying. Ooh, good movement by him, actually. Ooh, do not want to deal with a warlock with blow corruption. However, this is prime territory to get third partied, so... What is this? What is going on? This is a fiesta here. Alright, there's a lot of people in hell with us. A warlock, maybe a barbarian, a ranger. Bit of a mess. Let's actually not bandage. Our inventory is already pretty full. Going to hell is a little bit risky, but hopefully we'll be okay. Let's try and sort out some of these. Some of these rings aren't very good, but rings are so overpriced right now. Yeah, I don't know. That's how it feels with crypts. Like, in the beginning, you don't find anyone, and then all of a sudden, you just find everyone. You just start finding the entire map. Which uh, I don't like. I wish it was a bit more paced. I know it's kind of probably the point for it to be pretty stressful towards the end, but oof. Yeah. I mean, we already have some pretty good treasures. Like, we do have a few greens that we could upgrade. This broken skull is going to be pretty low AP, so we could easily drop that if we do find some other high tier stuff. That's just me wanting it for the quests. Streaming on Twitch as well? Uh, no, not right now. I keep thinking about setting it up, but then I just want to stream when I come to stream, so I <laughs> don't really want to... I will sort it out at some point. So, soon, TM. Alright, crossbow's not even loaded. Right, so I did drop the crossbow. Yeah, definitely could drop that actually as well, that's a good point. Okay, so we do actually kill these Nightmare dogs very quickly. What else is in this room? Zombie. Uh, it's actually a nightmare zombie. Mr. Bolt. Lucky. Holy crap. This gas destroys you. Yeah, that gas hurts. Alright. Good to know. Much stronger with gas than the normal ones, and it spawns too. And also moves way faster, yeah. Take out the dog. I think there's also like one of the kind of mini bosses here as well. Whether it's a demon berserker or a centaur, I'm not entirely sure. Might have to. Uh, Okay. 
Honestly, the cloud will probably do more. Okay, it's despawned. The cloud was probably going to do more damage than the actual bloody... Uh... What's it called? A <laughs> demon dog. Although the demon dogs do definitely hurt, but they're pretty easy to dodge, so you don't really have to worry too much about them. Let's make sure we've got another potion popped as well ready. Of course. Moved right as I shot. This guy is constantly moving though, actually, huh? So make sure he doesn't hit us, because if he hits us, that armor penetration... I think they, uh... I assume they also have armor penetration on their crossbows. So we're actually outside his aggro range, which is crazy. Might take us a little while, but we'll get there in the end. It is outside the zone here, so... We shouldn't waste too much time. Ooh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I wanted to go and loot that golden chest up there. Let's go this way. I think we should be clear to just walk through. I think we killed everything here. I'm not sure what's in this room. This might be the chi uh, the room with the demon berserker and demon centaur. Oh. Oh. Is loophole way better in hell? Oh yeah, oh, much, much better. You get like, on average you can get really crazy loot from hell, it's just really dangerous. I either absolutely love or hate this game because I can days with nothing good happening. Then last night happens and I'm killing a bunch of people and get a bunch of loot. Yeah, honestly, it's the same with me as well. I think that's just the experience in these kind of games. Oh my god, bad shot. Triple shot on the uh, nightmare version. Just discovered you. I like your stream favorite prophet to watch. Why? Well, thank you. That's really nice. I appreciate that. All right. Um. Probably. Oh. Okay. A ranger died here. Looks like he died to PvE with the amount of, uh, he looks like pretty much unlooted, probably whatever's in that room. Oh wow, those gloves are insane. Okay, we're dropping the crossbow. Survival bow, interesting. Uh, we're dropping the broken skull as well, let's go AP. Blue, gr blue, green. Green. Right. Let's make sure we've got enough meds. All right. We need to make sure we have a plan to actually extract because we can't be trying to fight like demon berserkers and things uh, as the zone is like fully closing in. So let's try and clear our way to the center of the zone. Okay. Didn't quite dip under that. Okay. We've got plenty of meds. Well, that guy's also a walking pharmacy if we need to go back. What is that? It's just a normal one? Okay, that's fine. Normal nightmare skeleton's not very scary. It's got to be careful that, for that overhead swing that they sometimes do. Seven mana potion? These are protection potions, which are like, instantly just give you damage reduction. Or, not damage reduction, but like an instant shield for physical damage. So these are, like, really good. These are, like, some of the best potions. So, okay, let's make sure we've got the... Okay, maybe... Yeah. Let's just cheese him through the door if we can. Come on. God, 
just about missing these attacks. There we go. Perfect. Okay, good. Hey there, welcome to the stream. Go to the room and kill Berserker on stairs. Uh, yeah, you might be right. I'm not the best at choosing the uh, or knowing how to choose the mobs in hell. Or just how to deal with them in general. I think there's another dog. Yep, and a demon berserker. Uh. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to kill the dog through the wall if we can. Or maybe we can get the dog to kill the demon berserker. It, this might take us like an hour, I'm not going to lie. Let, uh, yeah, this is really going to take us a while. Do we have any good options to cheese things? No, not really. We can go all the way around if we need to. I also know you can, like, take this upstairs and then jump over it. I would. Ooh, damn, he clipped me through the door. I th mm, I'm not liking this. We definitely need to try and kill the dog. Oh wait, this is like really easy cheese. Okay, good enough for me. <laughs> We take that. All right, we take that. We take that. Okay, let's not... Let's leave that open for now. Or oh, shut even. We're going to have to go into that room, probably. Uh, oh. Now, those gloves are too insane. All right, drop some Franciscas. Yeah. Okay, a portal just spawned in here. What we're probably going to do is shoot the Demon Berserker, bait him over here, lock the door behind him, Okay, perfect. There's our blue portal. There's our way out of here. There's also a golden chest. We have plenty of lockpicks. Where is the demon centaur? This is the centaur room, right? Blue pot down there. Um, right. Let's go quickly get this golden chest. Let's make sure we open this portal first. We do not want to have to open this in a bloody risky situation. I apologize for my dogs barking. <laughs> I might be my mic for a minute. Uh, I have Weimaraners, and one of them's name is actually Ace. Like your thing. <laughs> uh, like your name. I. How do you get to this, guys? I know you can, like, jump it, but I don't think we'll be able to jump it because we're too slow and fat. Yeah? I think we're probably just going to be leaving. Okay, it's there. Alright. Nah, we don't have time. No worries. Could have done that more efficiently, but I'm a bit of a noob at help. 500 points, though. That's a good start. 500 points is solid. We'll take that. No play it. Oh! Oh, that first fighter we fought actually died to the zone. Yeah, right. I forgot. We must have left him on, like, 1 HP because he just died instantly to the zone. Okay, so we got some really nice items from that. Pretty good run. Not the best start, but pretty solid. Can't complain. This castle and we also could have dropped as well after they got nerfed. I'm not sure if they're really that good anymore. Uh, let's check the gold from the treasure. Looking like 321 gold. Plenty of quest items and things as well. 
including an enchanted dark fabric. Really nice. I think that's actually my first one of that, this entire wipe. But yeah, thank you guys for letting me know. Um, I'll know for next time if we go down again, which we probably will. What's the current map? Ruins? Okay, yeah, yeah. I want to play ruins. Uh, so we only need three lockpicks. Let's make sure we got enough meds. Should we get our potions? Could bring some more Franciscas. I think we will bring a few more Franciscas. Francescas, Francescas. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but whatever. How do you struggle? How do you deal with runes as a person? Quite a I struggle on the map with all the ranged. Yeah, <laughs> you can be kited pretty hard on this map. Um, left a lot of gold last run. Oh uh, yeah, could be right. I'm not really sure. I wasn't paying too much attention to be honest. The only problem with um gold is not giving AP. Like it doesn't give any AP, right? So I don't really like taking gold that much. I normally bring in one pouch just because I guess fifty gold for one slot's decent. Alright, so I immediately I don't like this spawn. Let's try and clear these mobs and probably head uh, east. Someone's instantly uh, right next to us by the sound of it. Double swing. Yep. Let's go see what this is. Yeah. Warlocks are just going to be rough for us to fight. Okay, we're actually two hitting the normal ones, but it'll probably be three hits. What is this? Let's go take a look. Please do Ranger, you hear that? Someone just set a trap. What? How did that miss? That was a bad shot. Should have hit him then. This guy's got to be like nearly base get, I imagine. It's a pretty nice longbow through weapon damage blue, but no. Nah. Let's grab these meds for now and we can always just drop them if we need to. Uh, some of that gear's kind of nice, but. Right, let's loot in here. There's a big chest and there's also. I completely forgot about his trap and just immediately dodged it. Yeah, that was just l pure luck, I'm not gonna lie. How did I dodge that? Yeah, I guess if I just hugged the wall, it was fine. These boxes, one thing I've learned recently is these boxes are, give, like, really good loot. These boxes are probably, like, some of the easiest way to get decent loot. Even collectibles and stuff, or sellables. Um, I don't like going down because you can get stuck easily, especially if it's like a a warlock or a wizard that's got you stuck in there. Like, you're just going to die. It's, it's really quite painful. Alright, three crossbow headshots. Intact skull. Again. Need it for quests, but can definitely drop it if I need to. Well, that's pretty... not great. I did not know the spawns for this map were that close. It, like, it, it must be different in solo, because I never had anything that close before in duos. I know they were kind of close in duos, but, like, one tile diagonally? That's crazy. There's a pretty good loot spawn here on the floor. Okay, I spawned a white viking helm here this time, but... That can spawn, like, cloaks and things... Sometimes pretty good. We should go down to the cemetery, probably. That's generally really good loot. That's actually quite a nice home. Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to end up dropping that. But I also need it for the quest, so we'll see. There's almost always people at the cemetery if we wanted to go PvP. The only thing that makes me worried about this lobby is the high amount of wizards and warlocks. Uh, those are the hard matchups for us. You see that? No, oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was a health potion. It's actually just a death beetle. Jesus. I flew into the stratosphere. Alright. We need to be careful, because if we're going to get fireboard or something, um, we need to try and dodge it the best we can. Let's 
some decent treasures. For a second there, we had uh, no Void Python, so... Yeah, there again. Must be heading to the... S oh, no. It's coming back. So someone's probably just running in and out of the range at the absolute max. I was gonna... Oh, that made me jump. I was gonna say to the south, but... We actually were moving north. They could be coming from the south. The mobs are dead here, so someone's been here. Can we see anything? I hear something. It's a bard. I f you know... Strategy? That guy's basically no threat to us. I'm gonna leave him alive. So... Hopefully we can hear someone if they're casting spells and they'll make a bit of noise when they're fighting that guy. Because that guy, if we kill that guy, what? That's He's 10 AP. You said he got point blank fireballed at full health and was dead. Yeah, no. <laughs> Must have been crazy geared, but bloody hurts like hell as well. Uh, are those purple pants not worth taking, or is it too little per square? So, purple pants are like good to sell, but we're going to rank up specifically here, and you don't actually get AP, which are the like rank points from. Taking loot items. You only get it from taking, like, treasures and killing monsters and things. So that's why we're going to be focusing, like, on um, these things. Are the blue exits still in that hole? Uh, actually, don't know. Sorry, I can't really help about that. Let's check these two sellables here, see what kind of tier they're at. Actually, three. We'll I'll take the green. Pretty good, like, shelf here, which sometimes can have some nice things. Can even have, like, rings and stuff as well. If you're coming in low gear. Nah, okay, pretty low tier this time. Uh, let's grab the shrine, that's free AP. We're doing, like, crazy damage, though, in this gear set. Never buy one of the statues for a big chest. Oh, okay, thank you. We'll go quickly check that. By one of the statues. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's over there, right? Yeah. Actually, completely forgot about that until you said about it. Thank you for that. <laughs> Lion's head as well. Could get some really nice stuff out of this. Pretty good. Not bad. Loot's a bit... Uh, the actual items are a bit subpar. What's this? We're definitely taking red here. We don't want to be taking blue. There is a gold chest down the well. Ooh, good point. Let's go check what this portal is, and then we can head back and see... Yeah, zone's allowing us to go and check that. Uh, you know what? We're not going to be taking this. With the... Classes in this mat game, I don't think we really want to be fighting them, so I'm happy to open that, and if someone takes that, that's okay. Then the well. Yeah, we should be okay to take this. Okay, someone just took that portal. That's fine by me. It's probably that bar that we live, live thinking about it. Oh, look, there's actually boxes here as well. Let's destroy these. We'll take a fair bit of zone damage, but it's probably going to be worth it. Hopefully the mob's already cleared. Although actually, uh, it might already be looted because everything's already dead here, but... Uh, I can't remember which direction it actually is. It's not this one. Might be the other way. Let's make sure we've got potion sticking there as well. Did they up the zone damage? That feels like it's doing a lot more damage than it used to. Ah, uh, someone's already looted the golden chest. Okay. We have plenty of meds. Oh. Okay, well, my bad. But we have plenty of meds anyway, so... Oh. Okay, we have plenty of meds, so we should be okay. Pretty sure portals give 30 AP or something? Really? That seems insanely high. Going the wrong way to escape. Let's pop a few uh, meds. Now we kind of need to get moving, though. Hmm. 
There was someone up there as well that I heard moving. Not sure exactly where. Not sure where they w or what they were either. You know, let's just drop down, take this red. We'll be okay. Pretty risky to check that chest. Uh, we're kind of running a little bit low on meds, but we can get some resting done here, and we'll probably just go up to full health from this. I think someone said yesterday that portals were like two, but I didn't know. Well, let's try and have a look after this game if we remember. I'm not 100% sure on all the AP values, really. And we actually have two surgical kits, so... Just a bit low on bandages is my worry. Five. I mean, we should be okay, but... Let's just try and be a little bit conservative with them. Unfortunately, taking this early red, we're going to have no idea how many other people are going to be coming down with us. So, we could be alone. Unlikely. I think most people that are looking for AP are going to be coming into hell. Oh, sorry. At least crypts as well. Do you for play boots, or is it just what you have found for now? Um, no, I don't like play boots, honestly. I think they are pretty bad. They The move speed they give is really low. They give you negative magic resistance, and they make you so loud. The loud thing is, like, the worst to me. It's just that we found these, which are pretty solid boots. We could definitely buy better than this. But it was just... Most of this kit... Actually, this entire kit is, like, self-found. This is what we found from killing people. So I was watching a video last night. And they were saying something about it in the new patch. But honestly, I could be talking nonsense. Yeah, I don't know, honestly. Um, let's try and take a look and we'll try and figure it out. Yeah, no. The sound is just so loud on the plate boots. I don't think full plate... Uh, sorry, full plate is optimal. Like, I wouldn't be running heavy gauntlets as well if we had... um any better ones, because I don't really like these either. I think maybe either Riveted, uh, which are the strength ones, or uh, whatever the Vigor ones are, are solid as well. But we found these, which are pretty good. Um, we are rocking, like, pretty high PDR, but no, if it was my choice, we would not be using... Well, you know, obviously, it is my choice, I guess, but it's just because we found these play boots, and they're pretty good. All right, we're finally heading into crypts. Don't like a no. Oh. Okay, I don't like this spawn. Being like really far in the corner kind of sucks. Then we can kill on this headshot. We're getting bloody. Come on. Oof, all right. Okay. Nice. Although we do have the zone, so thankfully we're not going to have to be chasing the zone for a long time. Old cloth. Ah, I think I do need the old cloths. Oh, nice blue. For um quest, but I think we're just going to focus AP right now. We do have some pretty good AP on us for like how early it really is. Pickaxe, nah, we'll be alright. Swap another potion. Good stream, thank you. Oh my god, mimic. I swear the mimics always get you when your hands off the keyboard or something like that. Albert. Um. Now nah, there's probably a bunch of loot here that I'm actually not aware of. A lot of more- oh, it's this spawn, huh? Crossword. We're probably going to be heading down to grab all that loot, because there's a lot down there. I think. I think there's a lot of decent chests down there. Uh, let's quickly take out these pots first. I suppose the good thing about being in the corner is we're probably not going to... Oh, nice. The thing about being in the corner is um, 
we probably shouldn't have too many people heading our way. I'm down for PvP, especially against the other fighters and things, but yeah, as I keep... I've said it many times at this point, the Warlocks, they're going to be the ones to make us suffer. Warlocks and Wizards. Oh my god, always. I really wish they'd buff Mimic loot to be like an actual chest loot. It's like, just getting white trash from like the big chests kind of sucks. Alright, let's head down below. Make sure we can actually see down there first. So what have we got? Two... Okay, just three normal skeletons. That's fine. Let's see where the next zone is. Odd, I think odds are pretty good for us that it will be somewhere near us, so we probably won't have to run too far. Like, five Vigor is just crazy. Those are decent, but... I thought I heard someone moving them for a second. Probably just weird audio. We got five lockpicks, so we can just use them, like, whenever, really. Uh, decent way hander, but no. Ceremonial. Lots of other garbage. Right. So dark at the side of the map. Well, let's be honest. The entirety of the map is pitch black almost, but. Okay. Started snowing. I think we're actually having snow here as well, which. Yeah, very late. We had it for like one day and then it just disappeared immediately. Is this a spawn room, or is this... Yeah, it's a spawn room, alright. I hear someone. So I have a current theory on the Void Picon in Crypts. I think it's there at the beginning. And then if you if someone enters your VoIP range, it's obviously there. And then if they leave your VoIP range, it then disappears again. So right now someone is within our VoIP range. Ah, oh, that's the spawn room again. Uh, I guess we'll have to crouch under this bit. It'll be okay. We should do some chests in here as well. Mm, pretty bad chest there. All right. The only thing we need to be careful about is we need to make sure we don't aggro like tons of mobs and then get the player on us, because then we're going to need a good door. Otherwise, we're going to be in a very bad situation. There is this down portal if we need it. It's definitely going to be in next zone as well. Let's go take a peek at what class this guy is. Hmm. So they already did a lot of movement. Let's grab the... Okay, now they're actually close. You see that? There was a purple weapon in there. I think it's a rogue hiding in that little, um... thing. I'm gonna pretend like I don't know that he's there. We're gonna blue pot. Oh, it's a little... little bard. Poor guy. Feel bad for this guy, but this guy's probably got pretty good treasures for us at this point, hopefully. Two candy canes, bit of gold. Uh, you hear that? Give me those bolts. Someone's in the room that we just came from. Uh, the VoIP icon? Yeah, definitely useful to tell when people are near you. Uh, more so in the... Like, the old goblin caves, I feel like, but... 
Now let's see what this is, at least. Oh God, I can't jump today. Hmm, ran. This is the problem with he uh, plate boots. Actually, <laughs> he flanked into the room we just came from. Hello, gamer. You looking to... You what? Are we going down to hell or what? Yeah, we're going down to hell here. You down as well? I'm gonna go check what that portal was. Okay. Hmm. Kind of going against my. I really don't like um joining with people a lot, but well, it's not that we're teaming. We're just kind of not fighting. I guess. I guess that's okay, but. It's also a, like a low gear fighter by the look of it, or something. Didn't know in the room on runes with the four statues. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's a barb, isn't it? Let's go to hell. If you don't know the room on runes with the four statues, there's a lever you can pull that opens a room. Golden line says in it. I, yeah, I think we looted that, right? I think that was the one we looted. And they, unless you're talking about a different one. Well, we looted the one which... Uh, it's uh, the feet of like a statue and then back towards the... Western side of the map. There's like a, a little staircase with a golden case. Yeah. Thank you for the tip though. No, we got this. It's a team effort. I wouldn't have got that without... Was it you? The one ace who said it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, pretty risky going down to hell again. But I need to remember we've got a lot of stuff we can drop for more AP. Although we do have some pretty high tier treasures. Maybe I should just send the second wind at some point uh, when we need healing. The only thing that I dislike about going to hell is if you spawn, like, outside of the zone, then you're just chasing the zone the entire game, right? You get almost no time to, um... To actually loot. Never seen hell before? Yeah, hell's pretty scary. Alright. Okay, so same room, spawn again. Uh, we have a pretty decent zone. Let's just start... Working on these dogs. We can actually just full cheese them at the door. Bait their attack. Alright, perfect. Let's go get the other dog if we can as well. Okay, good shot. I'm wondering how much damage uh, you lose on these like high range shots now in the most recent patch. Can't even loot this one. Let's be careful if there's a bloody nightmare zombie again. Oh, it is a nightmare zombie. Oh, I missed the shot. Can he fall down here? Can his gas clouds come down here? Please tell me they can't. The heal pot. Yeah, Jesus. Those gas clouds just hurt so much from the nightmare zombies. That was like two ticks. And it feels like the matter of every everyone just wants to team. I don't know. This they're probably gonna have to do some like changes if, to uh, encourage PvP a bit more. Although they did say the focus is on adventuring and PvP is like a... Not a side thing particularly, but like... Another part of it, right? Uh, right. There's a nightmare skeleton on the floor. What variant? Oh, just a guardsman. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I hit the shield with my... 
uh, bolt. I didn't know that actually reflected damage from the crossbow. That's interesting. Arena will help. I'm curious about that. If you're like a Tarkov player, um, with the recent uh, Tarkov arena that just came out, definitely not my thing. It's okay, but I don't know. I suppose that will give people a place to PvP when they want to go in PvP. I guess it doesn't have to be on a, a kill on site game, right? It just feels a bit weird because that's what I'm used to. I was hoping we could kill him before he spawned his gas clouds. But whatever. I'd like to go and loot this high tier stuff up here, but we'll have to kill... Let's check what room we've got to the west. We are kind of running low on meds at this point. At least low tier spammable meds. That's a, that's that player that we said. Should just block that or crossbow it, but whatever. Well, that's a portal in the room that we spawned in, so that's pretty nice. Like, we're probably the only person who heard that. I mean, that guy also might have heard it as well. Let's just shut this door. Is that... Yeah, it's even on this side of the, um, like, little fence thing. These things might aggro at us. Do we go for this loot here? There's pretty good loot. No, I don't think we do. I think it's too risky. I think we just destroy these barrels and grab what we can. Need to remember, we've already got some pretty good treasures. Okay. Grab potion of healing. Um, let's just drop that for now. There's one more chest down there. These guys will just kill each other. Did that one just escape? No, okay. Ow, 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 oh my god. Okay, I just want to get out of here now. I didn't think his AoE was going to hit me through the wall. How do we do this? I think we surge kit here. Hopefully he was going to stop shooting and then we just run at the, um, extract. This is... God, that fire lasts so long. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. Bit of a waste of a surgical kit, but let's just make it out of here. I didn't know he was gonna actually... 600. We got even more AP from this. We killed two players. Oh, right, yeah. The bard and then the uh, ranger and ruins. So, yeah, that should be Pathfinder. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Pathfinder 3. Already a solid chunk into... um. Towards Pathfinder 2. Yeah, that was pretty risky at the end there. And we have so many lockpicks and things now. Alright. Uh, we could have also... We actually had loads of stuff we could have dropped. It felt pretty uneventful, but no, we did actually kill two players. Although one... Oh, come, one of them was very low gear. Come on now. But I can't make people come in with higher tier gear. 220 gold from... Oh, no. 229 gold from the cellar balls. We'll keep the intact skull for quests. No, there's another one there. 24. Alright, so we'll do one more run for the video. The stream will keep going after this, but let's... It looks like we're going to be heading over to Goblin Caves. Make sure we've got all of our meds. We need crossbow bolts. Good job I double-checked. Right, let's head into Solar Goblin Caves. New Goblin Caves is kind of weird. But now that we've got Pathfinder, um... Not that it's very high rank or anything. It was very hard to get here. It just takes quite like a few games of grinding some AP. But pretty solid runs. Uh, might try and do a bit more experimentation now. Are the only PDR fighter in the lobby? It looked like it, somehow. I believe they made them better with the addition of the map rotation. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Because now both bosses spawn on this map, right? So this actually has, like, the most amount of bosses, this map. 
We can go take out the centipede. My only worry is it's pretty rough if, um... Oh, I forgot coin patch, whatever. Uh, it's pretty... I always don't like fighting the centipede, because if you get... Uh, like, ganked whilst you're bloody... Fighting the centipede, then it gets really awkward. How am I not... Am I not hitting this? What is going on? Oh my god, I just cannot clip it. Please. Oh my god, I'm just gonna shoot it, whatever. It's not even a nightmare pod. Am I missing something? Is this invincible? There we go, okay. Yeah, no, I have been seeing quite a lot of fighters recently, but today, it's just been warlocks and warlocks and warlocks. I don't really know. Well, we spent half an hour destroying one spider pot, so that's not ideal. Well, let's go fight the uh, centipede. Apparently, it makes a noise now, the, like, poison that it has or something, so it's a lot louder. Yeah, hear that? Ugh. Excuse its gamer gunk everywhere. Alright. We should drop this pretty fast though, like our gear is pretty solid. Well that's kind of originally why I took a big a big break from the fighter, because I don't really like playing meta classes that or meta things that much in games, and then of course it was so meta, the entire lobby was like 60% fighters, which I didn't really enjoy that much. Uh, decent, actually decent as well. Looks like next generally, what is go? What is happening? Did they screw this up a little bit in the, um, they haven't even changed this part of the map. This is like exactly the same now. Maybe they changed the module a tiny bit and the, some of the hitboxes are just a bit off. Campfire. Right. What class would you like to try next? Um, honestly, like, Wizard's probably my favourite, but Wizard in solos is kind of miserable to me. Like, I don't know, maybe right now with the current meta of, like, um, lots of... Well, I say lots of PDR fighters. I think there are quite a few. It's just... I must have been unlucky today, because like we're probably just going to outgear most of the fighters. Most of the PDR fighters. So maybe it'll be okay, and maybe I'll give it a go again. Do also have like two kits ready to go. Oh. Oh. But I do definitely want to do a little bit more experimentation with the fighter. Uh, mainly with like Shield Slam, or whatever it's called. After the most recent like buff or change to it, I think it actually might be okay. You're still obviously losing either Sprint or Second Wind, which are like, you know, absolutely insane abilities. I'm not sure which I'll drop. It honestly might be Second Wind. I think honestly Sprint might be more useful than Second Wind. Oh, I've got to deal with both of these. How did this one aggro when it's upstairs? At least they die pretty quickly. Very quickly. Wonder if the Ranger Nurse have made Wizard better for Solo? Probably, to be honest. But now that Solo isn't just Goblin Caves, like I feel like Wizard struggled in Goblin Caves, especially because there were so many like angles where you couldn't actually cast your spells. Uh, on, on ruins, I feel like it's a lot better. It's it's maybe a little bit better on um, crypts, not much. I don't know how. Okay, it is already broken. It just doesn't disappear for a little while. Oh my god. Portal opened already. I was gonna go check if it was a red or a uh, blue, but of course it can't be a bloody red. We could kill the skeleton champion in here, though. I'm. I'm not sure. Oh my god! Not another pot. I'm. Not... 
I'm not sure where to cheese it anymore. You can probably cheese it on the braziers, actually. Probably be alright. Now, what's happening with this game? Why did these not aggro? Something is really bugged, it seems. Were they, like, already aggroed on someone? Oh, there's a skeleton mage here. I didn't even know you could get a skeleton mage in this room. Maybe they updated it. Saw a bit of people using the shield ability along with shield block. Might be fun, but definitely situational. Yeah. That's what I was kind of looking at. Also, the cooldown of shield slam seems a little bit too high to be too useful. But it looks pretty fun, so I'm down to try it. It's mainly rogues that I always used to die to. It was, um... Although that's going back a little while now. That's when rogues were like actually pretty good. Although I guess they were good again recently. But after the most recent nerfs, maybe they're back to just being like okay again. They'll still one tap a wizard, right? But someone's close. I can hear that. Someone to the north somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you can slam with the uh, pavis. Skilly Wizard was always there, he just popped up from pre Ah. Let's go try and annoy this guy. It's a like a barbarian probably. No, it's a warlock. Alright, screw that. We're not fighting that. <laughs> I mean, we can try, but... The thing is... Oh my god, this thing shoots through the walls? That's not intended, is it? Okay. Okay, dropped him. Alright, pretty low-geared guy, actually, almost naked. I didn't even know Warlocks could use the quarter staffs, honestly. Ooh, that might actually sell. Goblin here. Ooh, it's a nice little find. Uh, let's cook that camp by there. I think we have another white treasure somewhere, right? No, maybe not. Three man two. Uh, suppose probably stepped on the plate. Fair enough. I didn't know that. Thanks for the info. I guess I just never stepped on that side. What was the other one I'm saying? Uh, three man two hand uh, shield slam team one. All I'm saying is if we find that bard in that little room, yeah, true. <laughs> Honestly, that could be pretty fun. There's even a thing which makes your block like. Unbreakable almost, but it's uh, it's a pretty high cooldown, so it's not very high like uptime. But with like three people, you could probably just block someone in like infinitely. Maybe. There's a blue pot over there as well. I should go and grab that. It feels almost weird playing common caves now again. What? I'm like fully losing my bearings. So where's okay? So there's the heal shrine. You know what? Screw that. Crossfire's not even loaded. There's a goblin there, so there's probably someone in that room. And they've probably shut the door to de-aggro the goblin. Good dodge. Actually, good play by that guy.
Good play, good play. I should have been a bit more patient with it. Ah. It's a bloody rogue. Not really gonna be able to catch him that easily. What we can do is head back up to where we were and make sure we don't lose control of that blue portal. Do you lot of hours in this game? Uh, honestly, no idea. I have a decent amount, but it's never been something that I've had, like, super, super grinded. I'm hoping, like, w with the dev Q&A, with the amount of stuff they're adding, their vision for the game sounds really good. So I'm hoping there's plenty, plenty more to come. Am I wrong? Wasn't there a blue portal? If not, we need to find a different one, like, now. Yeah, okay, there was, there was. Good. Okay. Let's open this one, then let's just head out. Like, I already enjoy the game in its current state quite a lot, but it is kind of lacking content. But some of the things they want to add are, like, great. 300 AP, not an amazing run, but decent. Like, uh, it proper sounds like they want it to be, like, an adventure kind of game. With um, PvP as, like, a side thing, which I'm absolutely fine with. Some people probably would probably prefer the more PvP-oriented thing. But as someone in chat said, uh, the arena gives the option to people who really just want a PvP. So, you can kind of do, play it how you want to an extent, which sounds really good to me. Kind of wish I could fit a bit. Yeah, <laughs> true. This game, hopefully in two years, as long as nothing uh, really bad happens, should be very good state. Like, they've already, um, they've already expanded their company from, like, 18 employees to, like, 50, I think they said in the Q&A. So, you know, huge upgrade in scale. So hopefully they're working to get the content to us quickly. Uh, they have said that they were currently focusing on balance a fair bit, which is, you know, fair enough. The new content should start coming in soon. Oh, we actually need more bags. Hopefully on Steam soon. Yeah, true. Steam would be, as soon as their lawsuit's in whatever state it is so that it can go on Steam, but anyway, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, I'd appreciate likes a lot. If you want to see more like this, I appreciate subscriptions. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.